welcome back everybody. A lot of you have mentioned that you wanted to see room temperature test. So out here in this little building I built, we're gonna turn off the heater, act as if we lost power, we're gonna light Crisco candles, and we're gonna run them for quite a while, see if we can lift this room temperature. So first of all, let's kill the power. Okay, so I've had the door open for probably about 15 minutes. Uh, all we got in here is this little oil heater. I'm gonna unplug it right now. Currently we are 55 degrees in here and dropping. I brought in a secondary. Now you guys have seen the Crisco terracotta heaters that I've shown you how to build. I didn't want to do the same thing. I wanted to show you another method that also works when you've got the brick system. Okay, so you can see I brought in a piece of slate just to set this on, stack bricks up on the both sides, bridged it across the top to help heat up and radiate the heat at a lower elevation in here. That way we don't lose all the heat to the ceiling. So you might be wondering, how big is this room? It's about 200 square feet, and it's got 11 to 12 foot ceilings in here. So the airspace is pretty big. We're gonna run three large Crisco cans with four candles in each can. So I get comments sometimes from people, what about the paraffin in it? Yes, Crisco's got paraffin in it. So do most candles. You gotta ask yourself, if it was really that bad, Bed Bath & Beyond and all these other stores probably wouldn't be selling candles anymore. People have been burning these things for centuries. You probably have a higher chance of dying in a car wreck than the results of paraffin in a candle. But if that does bother you, there's a solution. There are paraffin free candles. Make these big things out of paraffin free candles. You can buy them. And as for safety, I recommend having a battery powered carbon monoxide and fire detector. And you're gonna need fresh air. This four foot window is opened almost one inch. That is gonna provide plenty of oxygen. I'm gonna trim these wicks so they don't smoke as much. Can you see if those ones need to be trimmed? Only this one has to. That one needs to be trimmed? Okay. Careful. Good, Dad. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna light these up. If this happens to be your first time with us, I'll leave a link at the end of this video and in the description below on how to build these 72 day Crisco candles. All right, everyone, so we're gonna leave these be for a little while, come back and check the temperature in just a little while. It's been one hour coming to check on it. Just wanna add that I do not smell anything. There's no French fry smell. Burning Crisco seems to be pretty odorless. This is how the first one's looking. This is very warm. This is how the second one's looking. Very warm. This is how the third one's looking. Again, very warm. This is radiating a lot of warmth right here. Temperature at the bottom of the room is 55. Up a little bit higher is 57. Okay, everyone, this is four hours later. This is how they're looking. Still very warm, 58 degrees, 59 degrees, carbon monoxide and smoke detector, still doing fine. It's about 40 degrees outside, it's feeling really comfortable in here. Okay, so it's been about six hours, sun's going down, it's dropped down to about 38 degrees. This is how we're looking in here. No alarms. Still the same, warm. Down low, almost 60 degrees. Up high, 
almost 60 degrees. Seems to be holding pretty strong. Feels pretty comfortable in here. Okay guys, last check. It's been nine hours. This is what they're looking like. Fifty-eight degrees, fifty-nine degrees up in near a window. No alarm of any kind. So just an FYI, it's super comfortable in here. It's down to thirty degrees outside. It's been maintaining about sixty degrees for nine hours. Top of the bricks are about one hundred and eight degrees. The vegetable shortening. The vegetable shortening is around one hundred and fifty. Now, the reason I wanted to show you the temperature of the vegetable shortening is many vegetable oils need to reach 450 degrees to actually catch on fire. So there's a lot of people out there that are just jumping to conclusions saying that you're creating a bomb. No, that's not what's happening. Stuff's gonna have to get to 450 degrees for it to catch fire. So there you go. It's an effective way to keep a room heated. Remember, don't do this unless it's an emergency situation and you have all the safety stuff in place. If you guys like helpful tips like this, you found value in it, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and do check out our other video on teaching you how to make these 72-day Crisco Candle light and heat sources.